Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is Fatima and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all about vision boards and hopefully help you decide if you need to make a vision board this year. So welcome to the Soul Beauty Chat. If you're new around here, it's about faith, soul, and beauty. So if you're interested in any of those topics, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications by clicking that little bell so you can be updated every single time I post a new video. Here is my vision board. I'm gonna show it to you quickly. This is my vision board for 2018. I actually made this vision board back in August. And that is because around that time I felt this new exciting energy and I was really pumped up and excited about my goals. So I decided to make a vision board. You can make a vision board whenever you want. It does not have to be at the new year, although obviously this is a great time to do it because most of us are thinking about our goals around this time of year. So what I like to do before I even start cutting out pictures and getting all my supplies, I like to get clear on my goals. I do that by using my journal. So currently this is the journal that I'm using. This is so cute. It's so adorable. It is a This Is My Year journal um, from My Leak Teal. If you don't know who My Leak Teal is, please look up her podcast, My, my Taught You, and she will get your entire life. Um, but this journal, I love. It actually comes with like some tips from her who she's basically like my mentor in my head. So getting tips directly from her in my journal is amazing. Um, but I like to start in my journal. So I start by just getting really clear on my goals. And when I say getting really clear on my goals, I mean crystal clear on my goals. If you tuned in to the last Soul Beauty chat that I did, which was the one all about reflection on 2017 and setting goals for the new year, if you haven't seen it, click that little eye up in the corner and make sure you check it out but in that video I talked about the importance of setting realistic goals and breaking your goals down into actionable steps so I'll recap that really quickly if you did miss out on that video so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to create your goals so say let's say one of your goals is to lose weight that's a very vague goal so I wouldn't even encourage you to write that down I want you to get more specific than that how much weight do you want to lose in the new year Okay, let's say you want to lose 10 pounds. Okay, so your goal is that you want to lose 10 pounds. To get even more clear on your goals, now you need to take it a step further and say by when. You want to lose X amount of pounds by what date. And you can do this for every goal. It doesn't just have to be for weight loss. You can say that you want to earn a certain amount of money by this date. You can say that you want to find a new job in this industry by this date. So get super specific on what you want how much of it you want and when you plan to do it by okay so that's number one tip number two is to break down that goal into i like to start with three smaller goals it can be more than that but i like to start with three smaller goals so let's say your goal let's go back to the weight loss goal your goal is to lose 10 pounds by let's say march 30th so you want to lose 10 pounds by march the 30th what are three smaller goals that you can do right now that you can start to put into place right now that will get you to that goal by march 30th maybe the first one is to create a meal plan for yourself maybe the second one is to throw out all your junk food and stop buying junk food and maybe the third one is to get an accountability partner those are three smaller goals that you can use to break down that one larger goal that can get you to your ultimate destination by march 30th so i want you to get that specific when you are writing your goals don't write down these vague goals thinking that something's actually gonna manifest if you're being super broad and super general you have to get specific on what you want super specific even when it it comes to um, financial goals when it comes to relationship goals get very specific okay so after you have created your goals I like to break my goals up into spiritual financial and material goals spiritual financial material so one of my spiritual goals is that I want to get more active in church right that's a very broad goal so I broke that down into I want to get involved with the dance ministry at church like consistently involved with the dance ministry at church so that's a very specific goal now i can break that down into smaller goals of what i want to do right um so get specific financial goal would be i want to earn x amount of dollars by this date a material goal would be i want to travel to this destination by june 2018 so those are 
examples of goals in those three different categories you don't have to do it like this this is just the way that I like to do it if I do that I like to then start pulling the images I pull my images from Pinterest mainly and then also from Google as well um, but I get so specific and so clear that when I'm putting companies on my vision board when I'm putting um, places on my vision board when I'm putting apartments on my vision board like the things that are on my vision board are so specific to what I want so the old school style of doing a vision board where you just grab a few magazines and cut out things that resonate with you that's not what I do I get so specific that I know exactly what I'm looking for when I go on Pinterest so let's say that um, for example when I did this board one of my goals was to um, to change my style right I wanted my style to be a bit more modest a bit more um minimal a bit more feminine and this was one of the pictures that i cut out and put on my board and it's um nikisha brunson i'm not sure if you guys follow her but this is one of the images that i put up there i also put this image of her in this really pretty red dress and it's gotten down to the point where like when i shop now when i I've, I've bought pieces and they emulate these type of styles because that is the look that I have embedded into my brain. Um, so I want you to be very specific when you're pulling images. Don't just kind of like grab a bunch of random photos because they look pretty or because they resonate with you. Go deeper. Go to the next level. For me, vision boards are a tool that aid in manifesting. And I made a whole video about manifesting, how to manifest. Um, and I'll link that up there if you want to check it out. But they really are a tool that helps you get closer to your goals as long as you are in alignment with what God's will is for your life. I could put like a super fancy car up here and a big old house and all of this stuff. But it's like if I'm aiming and seeking after something that one, I don't genuinely want wholeheartedly, and two, it doesn't align with God's purpose or will for my life, the chances of it happening is slim, to be honest. So when you're doing this, I would encourage you to, as you're writing out your goals, to really seek God and to say, you know, God, is this something that you want me to pursue? Do you want me to pursue this business? Do you want me to pursue this man? Do you want me to pursue this job? Like, really get specific and intentional when you're writing your goals. It shouldn't be a selfish process. At least it isn't for me. When I when I go into the process of manifesting and creating vision boards and, and really trying to create a life that is just so full and rich and exciting, I have to do it with God's help. As a believer, I know that God is directing and creating this path for me. So there's no way that I can start a new year or a new project or a new goal without including God in the process. So I want to encourage you to do that as well. My tips about creating a vision board. First, after you get the pictures, you cut them out, you put them on a board. I like to keep it as organized as possible. Sometimes I mix everything all up, but I really think it's up to you as to how you place your images. But the biggest key and the biggest tip that I want to give you guys is around the goal setting. I think the goal Goal setting and your intention is the most important the pictures the board what you use how you put it together all of that is whatever floats your boat but when it comes to your intention your heart and how you're setting your goals I think that is really the foundation of manifesting anything and that's the whole point of a vision board so I hope that this video was helpful if it was make sure you give me a big thumbs up and comment down below actually and let me know have you created a vision board for 2018 and if so what is one of your goals that you're trying to accomplish? I would love to hear from you guys down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I know I sound super stuffy right now, so bear with me. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you head over to my website, FatimaFarmer.com, and sign up for the free 7-day prayer journaling challenge. This challenge includes audio guides and prayers that you can download that will help you build your faith in a stronger relationship with God. I really hope that it's a blessing to you on your journey.